Hey, Fred Lam here, and welcome back to our FB Lead at Formula Training. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about your 15-minute passive income plan. So by now, you should learn all the different strategies that you can actually monetize with your email lists. Now, what should you be doing every day now that you got your lead mechanism involved that obviously now just start building your email list? What should you be doing on a daily basis? So here's what you'll learn inside this video. First of all, the one thing you must do every day, and I'll share you exactly what it is. Then I'm going to talk about the W5 method that you must know when it comes to running your email business. Then I'm going to cover the email lifeline, which is something that I learned from my mentor, Onyx Singal, and I want to share it with you. And also reading your email data for trends. Then we're going to talk about creating your mailing plan. And last but not least, your 15 minute passive income checklist. Now, the one thing that you must do every day is to send an email broadcast. This is your true passive income. Maybe it is in the morning or maybe at night before you sleep, send out that one email and that one email the next day will help you start making money. Now, with that email, you need to understand the W5 method for broadcasting. So you got to answer the W5 questionnaire. First of all, it is the W5 stands for who, what, when, where, why, right? Who do you want to talk to within your email list? Okay, You're, obviously you want to talk to everyone, but there's a particular segment that you want to talk to. Uh, what's in it in for them? So don't say what's in it for you. You gotta basically have the email written on having them knowing that, hey, it's like I'm watching your back, uh, this is what you should check out, uh, you're gonna learn this, or you're gonna basically uh, have this, et cetera, et cetera. So what's in it for them? When are you going to be sending this email out? Where are you actually sending these people to? So when they click on the link, where do they go to? And why are you sending this email out? So a very perfect example, let's use the dog training as an example. You want to actually send an email to those that are basically in your email list, maybe that are uh, having, uh, that, that owns an older dog, right? So you're going after the older dogs, uh, the people within your list that obviously have that that owns an older dog. And what you wanted to offer them is a dog training program that is built for older dogs to be more obedient. Right? That's what's in it for them. A training to help them uh, with their older dogs. Now, when are you going to be sending this email out? You're going to be sending it probably at 8 a.m. in the morning yes, uh, tomorrow. Where are you sending it to them? You may be actually selling an affiliate offer that is specific to a uh, to training older dogs. Now, why are you sending this email? Well, obviously, I wanted to make a sale, right? It's either making a sale or you're really you're building a relationship with them. So you got to understand why you're sending this email. So remember, answer the W five questionnaire before you actually send out the broadcast. Who are you sending it to? What's in it for them? When are you sending this out? Where are you leading them to? And why are you sending this? Now. When it comes to best mailing time for broadcasts, this is according to Jimmy Kim, the CEO of Sandlane, a really good friend of mine. He actually have seen like billions of emails being sent and he came to a conclusion that these are the best time to send when it comes to an email marketing business. On Monday, you wanna send between 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Eastern time. We always schedule things on Eastern time. So it's either 8 a.m. or 10 a.m. Eastern time. Tuesday, again, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Eastern Time, any time between that. Wednesday, again, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Thursday, again, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Eastern Time. On Friday, you want to delay it by an hour, between 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Saturdays are usually a no-send day, unless if you have a sale going on and there's something urgent that you wanted to send then you can actually send out an email on saturday saturday are proven to be the worst out of anything else okay so on saturday don't send unless if you have something urgent you wanted to send on sunday you want to send at 12 p.m eastern time when people are finished church or people that sleep in or people that check their email pretty late 
Now, here's one thing though. Regardless of what time you're setting out the next day or day of the week, you always want to set it at the same time of the day of the week. So you train your list. So maybe every single Monday, you always send it at 8 a.m. Every single Tuesday, you send it at 8.30. You want to actually set it at the exact same time so that you train your email subscriber to actually look out for your email. Now, on top of that, you got to understand the email lifeline. This is what I learned from my mentor, Onyx Singal, CEO of Learn. In fact, he also has a book. Simply just Google it. Uh, email lifeline and it is a great book to read if you are wanting to continue to build your email business and you are wanting to learn get more training okay check it out inside the email lifeline what i've learned is that you always want to sell different pricing products and mix it up there are three types of pricing in the world of online there are low ticket offers which are anything less than fifty dollars when you're selling a low ticket product that's anything less than $50, usually you only want to send one to three emails at max, okay? That's what you want to say. Sending it too much, it's not going to be good for a low ticket offer. Mid ticket, which is around five, uh, 50 bucks to 200, you want to send three to five emails at max because it's a higher price item. You should run a little bit more emails to actually convince them. If you're selling a high ticket offer, you want to add anything above 200, you need to actually be more persuasive. You got to basically be more relentless and persistent. You got to be sending five to 10 emails, especially if you are running a webinar. Now in the email lifeline, you got to mix it up. At times, you got to send some low ticket, then maybe a high ticket, then a couple mid ticket, then a couple low ticket, and then another high ticket. You want to mix it around. You don't want to always just send mid ticket, mid ticket, mid ticket, mid ticket, or low ticket, low ticket, low ticket, low ticket. You want to go like low, mid, high, low, low, mid, mid, high. Like you want to mix it up, and that's where your email lifeline really comes in place. Now, on top of that, knowing that you should be emailing like different offers at different times, different pricing, and maybe solo ads, CPA products, or whatever, the next thing that you need to do is to really read your email data, okay? The more you understand your list, the better your business is going to be. The open rate and click-through rate will tell you if your list like it or not like the product that you're talking about or the content that you're giving away. The open rate and CTR will tell you right off the bat you will see that if someone likes your uh, your email that you sent today, your open rate and your click rate will be really high. If they don't like it, the open rate and click rate will be really low. It will be basically be worse than what your average is going to be. Now, if you actually have something that your open rate and click rate is really bad, then you don't want to send a follow-up email. You want to actually pivot to something else right away. And for you, you got to basically find the trends of what kind of open rate and offers your list likes. Maybe ultimately your list doesn't like high ticket, right? It's fine. Then you know that you never promote a high ticket again to your email list. Now, when it comes to industry average rates across all industries, okay, the open rate is around 10 to 20%, depending on your relationship with your list, how great of a content you give away, and obviously the hook of your subject line but it hovers at around 10 to 20%. The click through rate hovers around three to 15%, okay? That's what it is. Now, the older your list is, the lower it gets. New subscribers will obviously fluctuate that number a lot higher. So keep in mind about that. So you wanna try to get in between 10 to 20% and CTR between three to 15%. Now, that being said, what you want to do is an exercise every month that is basically crafting or creating your email plan. You wanna use a calendar to plan one month in advance. I'm old school. I actually print out a calendar on my table to actually see in the next month, what am I gonna be mailing? What am I gonna be talking about? So I don't have to think about it, right? Every day I just write that email. Look at the data, write that email. So you wanna plan what content and offers you are going to promote. Just spend like an hour or two once a month to plan the next month. And you gotta remember the email lifeline of selling price item. So sometimes low ticket, sometimes high ticket, even if it's an affiliate offer or if it's a solo ad, you still wanna make sure if it's a low ticket or a high ticket, et cetera, et cetera. Now, follow the plan accordingly to make your day easy, right? So all you do is like, oh, tomorrow I got to send a follow-up email to what I said today, okay? Then you just write your email, right? 
Uh, but again, you still need to look at your data. If your data is telling you that the open rate and CTR is bad, then you still got to pivot. So you still have to have some backup plan in place. Now, let me actually show you how I usually do my mailing planning. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to clear this first. Um, I'm going to go desktop and I'll open this up. Okie dokie. All right. So with this, all right. So this is basically a calendar right now, right? So let's say that this is February 2020. I think it is February 2020 that I use. And what I will do is I would, where is my scribble pad? Here you go. Okay. I will start planning. So on Saturday, I'm going to basically have no email, right? We talked about this, no email on a Saturday. On Sunday, I may introduce a product. Maybe I'm going to introduce a low ticket product on, um, let's use uh, weight loss as the market and keto, okay? Weight loss as a market. So what I'm going to do is on a uh, Monday, I'm going to do a low ticket offer. So I will do a low ticket, okay? I will follow up with the low ticket and I would close it off. Then on Wednesday, I would change it up into giving maybe a content piece. Oops. I would change it and maybe I want to actually give a content piece using the viral commission strategy. All right, just did all these craziness. I'm just going to give them a content and I'll follow up with the content with them. Okay. And let's say that, hey, I'm going to be having a webinar coming up. Uh, with someone so I'm going to actually have an announcement email okay to tease them the whole goal is to tease them tease them about Monday webinar okay and then here no email right and then here I'm going to basically say tomorrow big announcement so I'm prepping this up and then I send them an invite to the webinar follow up the invite to the webinar and then today is the webinar day. And then I send out two emails and then I send a replay and then follow up replay. And then again, because it is on a Saturday, well, I have to force to do so. So I'll just send it close, right? And then because I did a whole push of sell, 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 sell I'll just have a rest day. Then next, I'm going to probably sell a mid-ticket item. And then I'm going to follow up about the mid-ticket item. I'll follow up again with another angle. And then I'll close it off. And then here, I may do another content piece just to make them excited. Um, here, I may do another content piece with the viral, viral using the viral uh, commission strategy. All these are using viral commission strategy. And then on Monday, I may do a, a probably let's do another mid offer, mid follow up, mid offer, and then I'll close it. And then I would bridge it with another content and maybe another content, right? Again, I planned out my entire month. So I'll just follow this entire month on what I needed to do, right? You should basically have already found these offers already well in advance so you don't have to actually do it as you go along so that's how you plan your mailing calendars now that being said here's your actual 15 minute passive income checklist you do this every day at whatever time you want it may be before you sleep or when you wake up or the middle of the day when you are enjoying your margarita on a beach okay so this is what you do. First of all, the first thing that I always do is to check the open rate and the CTR of the email to see if it is on average or if they like it a lot or if they absolutely hate it. If they hate it, we have to pivot. If they don't hate it, we continue our mailing calendar. So it'll take you one minute to look at the data inside your account. Once you finish, you simply find an offer or content you want to promote. You should have already have that. You're just grabbing the links, rereading the copy just so you know what you're going to be sending out. Then you spend two minutes to craft the subject line. Remember, the subject line is the hook. Very important. You got to know basically your subject line is to get them to open an email. Usually it will take you two minutes. 
Then you write your simple email and you use Tiny to track your link. It'll take you around eight to 10 minutes to actually write that email. Then you schedule the email for the next day to actually send it out and it will take you one minute and that's your 15 minute passive income plan. And all you gotta do is just repeat this every day. And that's all you really need to do. Now, that being said, I want to also show you how to actually send an email broadcast uh, if you're using Sendlane. Now, again, depending on what ESP you use and what CRM you use. But if you're basically in Sendlane, all you got to do is just click on campaigns, create a new campaign, put in the campaign name, I'll say keto diet, and then uh, regarding your keto uh, diet plan, the thought. And then you want to include the list. So you include your broadcast list, right? Only go after the broadcast list. So I'm just going to go after the broadcast list only. And you click on next. And you start from scratch and write your email, right? Hey, Fred here. I wanted to check in. I wanted to check in with you about your keto diet. Um... I know it's tough at first, but once you are able to do this for three days in a row, you will be you will be fine. In fact, if you want to have a customized keto diet plan for you, I found this website that does it. you at no cost go here to uh start your customized i'm just making it up by the way customized uh keto client plan now and then you talk a little bit more and then you go talk soon right and then all you got to do is go to tiny Grab your link, go to Tiny, and then shorten the link. Put the link here. All right. And then you click on Save and Continue. Schedule. Schedule it for the next day at 8 a.m. or whatever. And then you click on Save, and you are all set. That's how you send an email broadcast. And you just do this every single day. All right, so you are all set. You know the exact A to Z on building, running, and monetizing with your new email business. Now, if you're looking for more training, and if you want more training from us, from my instructors and myself, and you want to learn a lot more about online entrepreneurship, I definitely recommend you to go check out iPro Premium. You can actually start it for just a dollar, but all the, you get access to all the courses that we have right inside. And you also get to be invited in our bi-weekly open office hour, which you can actually ask us questions every other week for your business and regarding your business. And I also have a workshop every single month to keep you up to date of what is happening within our industry. We also have a quarterly meetup that you can actually meet me in person to actually spend a full day together. And all this is inside the membership of iPro Premium. So go into your iPro Academy account, go to the premium tab and check it out. You can actually start with just a dollar. And I can tell you the stuff you learn inside will completely change your business. All right. So I hope that you enjoy your entire training. Seriously, take action, implement, celebrate your success. Celebrate your sale with us into the community so that we can actually support you throughout the entire process. All right, so that's it for this video, guys. I look forward to uh, seeing you in our future trainings. Bye now.